couple of weeks back we had seen the Asus Fun Touch tools uh, on the Asus dock. Now let us have a look at Asus tools. Now these tools are basically some utilities which come bundled with the Asus ET2012 IGTS AIO. Uh, let's start off with AI Suite 2. Uh, as we all know this is uh, quite a famous utility from Asus and uh, yeah, uh, with this AIO you get the option to update your BIOS so you can just select on the ASUS update and it allows you to update the BIOS from the internet download a BIOS from the internet uh, and update the BIOS from a file or you can save a BIOS so right now we have the latest version so we don't need any updation another thing is called my logo in the ASUS AI suite to update menu uh, by my logo you can change the you can change the uh, boot logo of your motherboard so you know if you want if you have some image that you want to see if, when as the computer is booting up you can you know add that image instead of the default uh, asus boot up logo that you get the next option is system information now as the name implies this basically gives you all the system settings you know like uh, it will give you information about the motherboard uh, cpu details memory module details you can't uh, really tweak the cpu settings here because uh, this this houses uh, an intel core i3 2120 cpu which is not an uh, unlocked processor so you can't really do any overclocking as such using this ai suite 2 which is present in the higher end processors and motherboards of asus the next option is settings wherein you can you know select uh, which mode you want to see the AI Suite 2 in. So that was about Asus AI Suite 2. Uh, moving on, uh, we have the Easy Update utility, which basically allows you to update your uh, Asus utilities and your motherboard related drivers from the utility itself. Now, it directly connects to Asus server. Now, since we have the latest up to date system, we uh, it's not showing us any updates as such this is a good utility uh, then we come to asus manager suite now asus manager suite basically is like a, a, a shortcut sort of a menu which you know you can just directly add some most commonly used applications to this let's see and uh, it's just like another desktop you can say you can add some of your most used application you can just directly click on them and you know go in the menu it's like a roundabout way of doing things but it's good to have but the thing that we liked is settings now using the settings menu you can directly go to network connections or volume mixer or control panel you don't have to you know go to the start menu and from there select a control panel just a one button thing one click thing over here then we have the docking setting now as the name implies uh, this setting basically is allows you to you know play around with your asus dock so you can change the transparency as you can see it's going lighter yeah and keep it dark another option is you can uh, decide where you want the dock to be visible so you can have it on the top or at the bottom or on the left side or on the right side based on your preference and you can also select which docklets or which sub menus from each dock you want to be visible when you click on the docks. So let's say I don't want to see Asus AI Suite and press OK. So there, the Asus AI Suite 2 is removed from the dock docklets. So you can play around with this based on your preferences. Uh, now let's move on to the next utility. This is the Asus Microsoft Handwriting slash Keyboard. So you can either use a virtual keyboard to type out stuff or you can use your handwriting that's a bad handwriting but it is quite good at recognizing it as you can see we are not very good with handwriting but it still is able to decode what you have written
You can even use gestures to cancel out your sentences just like you would using a pen. So it's quite good feature. Using another gesture called split, you can actually separate out two words or you can join two words. So it has some nice additions. So that was about the ASUS tools that you get with the ASUS talk. So you have these five tools which are quite good.